Shuttered storefronts Sunday in Kabul as the Taliban's campaign across Afghanistan reached the capital. <laughs> Violence pushed civilians from their homes. Most of them are women and children. Five fleeing families found refuge in this small house. Among them are three widows and many orphans with nowhere else to go and for whom school is no longer an option. Displaced widow Goldasta says she lost her husband and three sons to the fighting. She tells VOA her grandchildren now provide for the family as trash collectors in Kabul. Look at these little kids. They are collecting paper and plastic from garbage. Is this work for little kids? What did Ashraf Ghani do for us? What did Karzai do? What did Taliban do for us? They widowed our girls. We've been here for months. No cooking, no meat, no good clothes or shoes. They're still trying to get medicine. With the Taliban bulldozing through Afghan security forces, those bringing humanitarian aid face tough choices. We are aiming to be able to stay and deliver um, the assistance that is really critical right now, but also have contingency plans for if the situation continues to deteriorate, how we keep our staff, both national and internationals like myself, safe. As Taliban fighters are set to take control of Afghanistan, human rights workers worry most about Afghan girls who, under Taliban rule, were not allowed to go to school, and women who could not go out in public without a full body covering and male escort. Taliban still have same attitude, same behavior, same uh, philosophy for their own self, like that they have their own war. And it's really not possible, it is really, really it is difficult for all people of Afghanistan, I'm sure, and particularly for women and the youth. A displaced man identifying himself as M. Omar tells VOA his family just wants a normal life. Taliban, you have mothers and sisters like us, the government too. You have families and mothers and sisters. For God's sake, stop the fighting. For the sake of the holy book, stop the fighting. If there is no war, we can go home and work to provide for our families. We left everything behind. These displaced Afghans say the Taliban set landmines around the homes they fled. They say their children lost limbs.